B2Web here, going to take a look at the Genesis framework. Uh, we did a video uh, whirlwind tour back when Genesis launched, and now with version 1.7 out, it's time to take another look at the uh, many, many updates. Going to spend the bulk of the time in the B2Web backend here. We'll start in the theme installation panel. Lots of people have questions how to install a parent and child theme framework, which Genesis is. You start off by installing Genesis and you activate it and then you install your child theme, in this case magazine, and activate that and you are ready to go. It's as simple as that. Next we'll take a look at the basic Genesis theme settings. I'm not going to show every single feature Genesis offers. I'm going to highlight some of the key uh, key aspects that I really like about this framework. In the basic theme settings you have six layouts you can choose as your default layout. I use the content sidebar. Heading settings you can use an image or the dynamic text. Navigation primary is the top bar. Secondary is the uh, one right below it. They're the horizontal nav bars. I use both. You can use none. You can use one and totally up to you. Breadcrumbs, that's where you dictate it in the settings archives. You can uh, set out how your archive pages display. And I limit to 300 characters and image to 9090, but you can totally customize that however you like. And in your header and footer scripts, uh, I basically just put Google Analytics in the header, but you can put other scripts in there if you like. Next up, the SEO panel. Genesis comes with a really nice built-in SEO configuration panel. You get to it by just clicking SEO settings. You can set your doc title settings and how it appears in the search engines. I like the doc uh, title of my site to show up at the right of uh, the, the titles in the search engine listing pages. Home page settings, set out your title and your meta description keywords. You can pretty much have the flexibility of no index, no follow, no archive file, almost any, some, all or none of your website. For instance, your archive pages, you can no index and no archive them if you want. If you want, I don't. Uh, I used to. Some people say it's a good idea. Some people say don't. I don't. And it hasn't seemed to affect my SEO, but, you know, it just boils down to experience. Let's see what, what works best for you. Next, we'll take a look at the uh, custom sidebars or the simple sidebars. Simple sidebars, so widget, uh, sorry, a plugin you add, it's free and it shows up here under your Genesis menu. You can see these are the ones uh, that come with uh, Genesis and the child theme I'm using. Here are custom sidebars I've created. Custom sidebars, simple sidebars allows you to select a uh, new sidebar for any particular page or post. So if you want to put in different content or menus, you can do that. Adding one's very simple. You just go like that and fill out all the fields, add new sidebar, and it's done. And there it is, which leads us to the widget panel. Genesis really does a nice job with the widgets. Keep in mind, however, the widget placement areas you get, which are these along to the right, are going to depend on the child theme you use. I'm using magazine, so you won't necessarily have a featured bottom left and another child theme that you use. Uh, I have a header right where I put the search box, and you get the footer columns. Now every Genesis theme that uh, come with those placement areas. I'm not using them yet. I may sometime. I just didn't when it first rolled out so I haven't bothered switching over. Here are the simple or custom sidebars I've created and you have the new sidebar in place right here. Lots of widgets to use that are unique to Genesis. You have Genesis you news and updates, featured tabs, which are featured, uh, which is not going to show up with every child theme it is with magazine. Featured posts, featured pages. I believe that comes with every uh, child theme out there. Page navigation menu, latest tweets, loads of widget options to add functionality and features to your website. Talking about more features and functions, let's take a look at the simple hooks. 
You don't have to use hooks. I only use a few. Hooks allow you to place uh, functions, features, content, text, etc. in various parts of your website so that you don't have to go into the individual PHP files and, and hard code it there. Uh, you have hook placement anywhere from uh, footer areas, document hooks, as you can see, I don't really use many of these header hooks, content hooks, all the way down to footer hooks, which I do use. Next up, we'll go to an add post to take a look at some Genesis options within the add post. Here we are in a standard add post uh, panel, but Genesis uh, provides a few extra features here, like sidebar selection. This is if you create a uh, custom sidebar, you can choose it right here. And you can also choose secondary navigation bar if you have custom menus made, and you can put that on a particular page or post. Here's where you input that particular post meta SEO data, like title, description, keywords, and other information. You can make uh, any particular page or post, no index, no follow, and or no archive. Choose your layout setting for any page or post. So I could switch this over to a sidebar content if I wanted to, and that would display that way. Custom body classes is really cool. Uh, I've used it uh, to create uh, different headers for a particular page or post. You have to go into the CSS. I'm not going to go into the details here uh, on how to do that. Let me form another tutorial. But you create another class and you input the name of that class into that field right here and you can then say for example have a new header you can do a lot more than just customize a header I use that as an example moving into the uh, WordPress custom menus panel here uh, Genesis works very nicely with that you can actually dictate a custom menu to be your uh, primary navigation menu and your secondary navigation menu I do this I like uh, to be able to create uh, a lot of custom menus as you can see along here because it just makes for a lot easier website management aside from that uh, this uh, custom menu is a standard within a WordPress installation and I must say this development in WordPress is fantastic and I'll end this whirlwind tour with the uh, import export settings here we are in Genesis import export I got to it just again under the Genesis menu here this is fantastic if you customize a child theme and you want to use it on another website you can then export it and then upload it into that site um, probably a fantastic feature for website designers who want to save a lot of work and simply uh, piggyback on past efforts and then customize from from those efforts anyways this is a relatively new feature in Genesis and it's outstanding uh, I use Genesis on B2Web I use it on other sites as well uh, it's excellent and lots of functions and features and I encourage you to take a further look at it uh, the support is, is quite good with a forum and you can ask questions and moderators will answer questions they're not going to answer every type of question about custom designing but uh, they're prompt they're polite and they do a nice job hope this whirlwind tour of Genesis uh, gave you a better idea of what to expect with this framework